Weekend breakfast made magic with a savory and sweet version. So while everyone's rushing around on the weekdays to get breakfast, on the weekends you can do some pretty good magic because you've got the time to make a delicious breakfast, especially if it's a Saturday and a waning moon. As always, find the whole recipe free on my blog or for $5 a month you can join my Patreon where you can get print and e-version recipe cards for your collections. Now while you might replace something like smoked salmon with bacon, the general idea of this meal is still one that you can absolutely construct from the ground up, and pair with something delicious like a mimosa, which is just orange juice and prosecco. But when I say build from the ground up, I mean shop with some intention. Check the ingredients on things you buy so you know what's already in them. That can actually help you guide the structure of whatever magic you're going to do with them. Because while we all know that yes, you know, herbs and spices do x, y, and z things, when you buy things that already have certain amounts of onion or other spices in them, you can use that to guide the rest of what you got going on. But now let's take a look at crepes, because I think a lot of people are intimidated by these, and I know I used to be too, but they're really not that hard. Imagine making a pancake, but like a really thin pancake. You swirl it around like that, and then eventually when it's able to move on its own, like you shake the pan and it moves, that means it's time to flip it. And then after that, it's just a matter of smearing some Nutella on there, throwing some berries on there, and that is the sweet portion of your breakfast, and it is so good. But the savory part, we're going to look at some of those eggs, as well as, of course, toasting up our bagel with our cream cheese of choice. I love everything bagels for this, but of course, you can do any kind of bagel you want. And given that this is Saturday and we're trying to banish some things, obviously some raw onion and garlic is going to go a long way for that. So beat up your eggs, and for the sake of not having a ton of dishes this Saturday morning, use the same pan that you use to make all of your crepes. Fry a little bit of your onion until translucent and then pour all those eggs in. And then your seasonings are up to you. You can do whatever you want. I like to put a little basil, some onion and garlic powder, and some salt and pepper. But once that's all set and your bagels are toasted, get that cream cheese on there as well as, you know, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic. And yes, I do like it raw because slob jeans, but if you would prefer it cooked, you can do that too. Get some salmon on there or bacon or anything you like and then plate it all up. This is a breakfast that's going to keep you full, like, almost all day. I can guarantee it. Then again, on Saturday, you probably didn't actually get to eat this until 1pm anyway, because you woke up late. But there you that's go. Good.